Hi everyone, welcome to Port Quality. I'm Zach. The boys and I are in a pretty special location today, so we wanted to record an intro for you. Chris? I'm Chris. Your boy Trent. Mike. Man's right there. <laughs> this is a show where friends talk about beer, life, and all the goofy stuff that gets in between the two. Each week the hosts may be different, and they're not always here. But don't you worry, they are all guaranteed poor quality material. So join us, listen in, as the brew crew talks about what ails the like. Now let's see what Trent's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's episode number 64. Four. Four. Nice. Will you still need me? Will what? you still feed me? Episode 64. <laughs> Very good. Didn't get it. Before okay. we get too far, let's go it's ahead and... the Beatles, Mike. I don't know the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get too far. Uh, yeah, here we go. You aren't able to see, but they have each of our names on it. So. That's true. Brandon Bottoms appropriately. Up, boys. Yeah, I hope I don't have to puke. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So what was that song you guys were singing? Top of um, this up. Ep- episode 64, that famous uh, video thing. game system that came out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Episode 64. Thank you. I like it. Oh, um, so I have a prompt. Okay. Good. That would help. Oh, should we explain what we're doing? There's we're something doing, different. We're doing our podcast. <laughs> we right, but we don't <laughs> always we don't mean? always do no, normally we all record in different rooms and different states. and A more so the, comfortable place, you could um, say. Yes, definitely yes. more comfortable. But There's this nothing is, more comfortable than this. Uh, yeah, I think speak for yourself. This is, <laughs> I'm a cozy boy. Well, now what you'll be seeing is me fidgeting with my hands <laughs> <laughs> for 60 minutes or so. Well, we've seen a couple, or we've heard a couple of episodes where Chris and I were in the same room once. Mm-hmm. Chris and Mike were in the same room once. Mm-hmm. And then you mm-hmm. guys were in the same room once or twice. Mm, a couple of times, I think, yeah. yeah. So... This isn't completely unprecedented, but all of us being sure. together in one part this is of the world. I'm yeah. about it. Unique. Something else. A little makeshift, but hey, we're making it work. Unique New York. Unique you know, New York. No, that's good. Check Except your mics. Not. That's good. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Colorful Colorado. Mm. Yeah, where are we, Zach? Well, uh, I was just real quick going to give a shout out to Colin. Uh, oh, yeah. We're, we're having one for you. We're pulling up for Colin. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're in Colorado. We sure are. Up in the mountains near Idaho Springs, um, just just up the mountain from I seventy there for all you local Colorado <laughs> sure, sure, Colorado sure, sure. folks. And by the time you see us, we'll be long gone. Please don't paparazzi <laughs> lay off. <laughs> yeah, our address is <laughs> got an Airbnb for the week. Yeah, or for half the week. We'd show you the outside, but it's a little dark. It's we were, dark. We sure maybe had a couple. We maybe, maybe, maybe had a couple beers earlier, but it like the doing the podcast mid afternoon just seemed like a little out of place. Well, we we had a few beers. We took a pretty big hike. We a took long a significant hike. Man, you are walk burnt. uphill. I am. You're certainly burnt, burnt on your neck. Right oh yeah, mm-hmm. no, well, my face is definitely a little red too. Oh, well, mm-hmm. you call me red in the face. Well, <laughs> well, so, I'm swimbeerist. <laughs> So what we're all getting at is that this is the perfect episode to record. Yeah, yeah, video. and to be on video right. is great. Someone could have done makeup. Someone could have. Well, I've gathered you boys here tonight to drink beer. Be merry. And Sorry, be merry. I'm adjusting. Get married? Just, nope, I'm getting married. Why did you get closer to me? Because I feel like I'm looking this way. <laughs> camera. I just got to be prepared for myself. This is about me. <laughs> Can we hold wow. hands? Mm-hmm. I love that. A lot going on. That's very there. romantic. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Let's pan to this side. I, I yeah. think we were both too clammy. <laughs> oh, no. Poor boys. Back to podcast. Um, sorry. <laughs> we're going to drink beer and we're going to describe our beers as a place we've only been once. Mm. Triggs. County nope. Market. Nope. <laughs> the Moon. <laughs> Mike, you you got some stuff you want to rattle off. How about we we get into that beer and, and oh, we hear from you? Okay. The tough thing about this podcast, and especially when we all come together, is I have a few selections to drink, and I don't know where to start. I think what I'm going to do... <laughs> so prepared, it's incredible. Is go I'm with, losing my mind. Go with the single speed brewing Gable. Munich Helles. It's a gobble. Nailed it. Heck yeah. 
Oh, she's foaming. She's foaming. <laughs> well, she's at altitude there, altitude, you know. Yeah, that's right. You know, not a people know that this altitude actually is a natural carbonation for beer. Otherwise, beer is flat everywhere else in the world. <laughs> that's true. It's true. That's true. <laughs> <This is> known. <laughs> I just realized that I was just staring at Mike with what had to have been an awful look on my face. <laughs> well, well, give me a minute. So as that'll be fun to watch back. <laughs> As this beer pours, it is awfully heady, which I do like. Keep mm-hmm. going. Give me a minute. Keep going. Uh, Keep going. Uh, Keep going. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's a nice, nice, crisp, clean color. I like the look. I like the glass. I like the bubbles. And I like the troubles. I like the wow. quality of that pour. Just wow! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Going for two. What a tease! A place you've only been once. It's very good. All right. It's very good. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. It's very clean. It's very like multi. Doesn't have that like it. It ends nice and crisp and. Like has a nice bittering quality, but like throughout, it's a nice and malty and like bodied enough for me to just like be able to drink it way down. I'm about to slam that right after I get done explaining. I'm gonna say, one time when I was in junior high or so, I got lost in a cornfield. It was the only time that I'd like proper got lost in like a real, actually like running. People are harvesting this at every year cornfield. I'm gonna say it's a cornfield. <laughs> If I didn't say it once or twice already. Um, so it's this one cornfield. It's this one cornfield. Okay. Central Wisconsin. Yeah. Not a lot of people have. Not a lot of people have been there. Well, you that's never know. Right. Well, at least from my memory, the one time that I went, the one time that I've been, the one time I've had this beer, that's where I was. <laughs> and that's how it goes. Hmm. Poor quality. <laughs> Zach, what are you drinking? (laughs) That was really, really, really good. Uh, I'm drinking a Coconut Migration from Single Speed Brewing Company. Um, It is a coconut double IPA that we make every summer. And hang on a sec. Oh, it's so tropical. Um, (laughs) Uh. This beer reminds me of the time that I was at the ocean with Lita in South Carolina because it's tropical and breezy and it's delicious and it reminds me of summertime and waves. And uh, yeah, my answer, Trenty Poo. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I am drinking the Fairy Nectar IPA from Cross Strain Brewing. Um, we stopped there on our way out here, um, out in Nebraska. Um. One second. <laughs> mm. It is a very, a very piney IPA. Um, it's kind of, kind of got a little punch to the mouth there, with the uh, the flavor of the uh, the bitterness and the dankness and whatnot. Uh, I will say that this reminds me of um, when I went to Beijing. We had this like soup and there was these little peppercorn looking deals and if you ate one your mouth went numb but they also tasted like pine um which was a very interesting sensation and and it would have been nice maybe if somebody could have told me that beforehand right um but did not have such luxury so i just kind of went with a, a novocaine mouth soup which was great fun but yeah i would say that's what this beer here reminds me of Matthew, what's up? We'll keep working around the table here. Um, tell me about what you are drinking. Tonight, I am drinking a Gable, a lot like Mike over here. Let me just... Wow. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Chris. Got a little on you. I'll just go right into it, huh? Send it. Mm. This is brewed by, I don't know, some brewery. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking. I'm looking for it. I can't. I guess we'll never know. Uh, it says here a few things on the back, some paragraph. 
I'm not really interested. <laughs> <laughs> it's all nonsense, anyways. <laughs> This is, of course, a single spree, sp- Springle Speed Brew. <laughs> Springle Speed. <pie. laughs> it's delicious. And we're in the mountains now. Right. Yeah. Nobody, nobody can deny that. No. <laughs> They're right outside. Look out the window. Look yeah. out the window. There mm-hmm. they are. What? What's going on back there? It's nothing. Okay. We're in the mountains. Last time I was in the mountains, I was in Italy. This reminds me of the one time I would uh, watched Alien... <laughs> Chris. In the mountains? On the plane to Italy? Shh. Chris is talking. Chris. Okay. We can watch Alien after this. Oh, I've, <laughs> I've actually never seen it. Can you hear the wind? Can you hear oh. the wind blowing? They might not be able to hear the wind. That's okay. Chris, what are you drinking? I am drinking. Let's see if I can open it. Ooh. Oh. I am drinking. Oh, I'm glad they don't make those childproof anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I am drinking a Coors Light. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Because I needed something light. Well, I might have to go with two places. One of them I'll uh, not get yelled at because it's not here. One of them is here (laughs) because I've never been to Colorado. Uh, And there's just nice looking mountains on here just like where we were at. And then um, the place that you won't yell at me for is New Brunswick, Canada. I went when I was five, I think. So, like, very uh, kind of faded memories, but good memories um, of just being at, like, the beach at this campsite that belonged to some of my family. And um, they had this dog, and I don't know, it's the first time I saw a jellyfish. I don't know. It's really Ooh. neat. I actually take issue with that second one. A squishy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Canada's not. In the U.S., right? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Do we have listeners in Canada? I don't know. Every don't time know. we like have an episode where we talk about some place, <laughs> we get pings from there. <laughs> so <laughs> here's open. I'm just saying that it's not very patriotic of Chris. To <laughs> you know, <laughs> no. Well, I had to. You said so. alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's like, An American well. classic. <laughs> Guys, can I try again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. Because you didn't want to say cornfield? I didn't is want that, to say a cornfield. It, that I, was your I got done with it, and I it was like, It almost sounded like you were about to tell a scary story, and then you sort of just and then you uh, talked about I was nearly you said cornfield like six times in a row. Yeah. I hey, know. but don't worry about it. This is a safe space. We all thought you did great, right, guys? Safe space where only we can see this, and nobody else is seeing Nobody else will watch this. And seeing me panic in real time. Which is perfect, which is really good. I went to Germany once. This is a German-style beer from Single Speed Brewing. I'm just gonna say German. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say Germany, and I'm gonna let it die. Oh, you're letting Germany die. <laughs> yeah, now Matt blames me for my technique. Miss. Oh man. Your okay. your all your mouth is in the microphone. That's. <laughs> and can I say something? Can I say something? <laughs> now you can. What this being right here is is really. <laughs> You could just, like you do like an interview sort of. Uh, you guys can have your yeah. own podcast. Can you just turn this one off? <laughs> yeah, true. I'll be way back here. Here, I'll I'll be zen. Yeah, you guys know me. I've been zen. I've been zen this you, whole time. You've been the that? most zen. What the listener does not see is how just zen chill I've been. So like, I'm gonna totally yogi master back here. Yogi bear, bring my picnic basket. I'm chilling. Yeah, Mike, I've never seen you panic so hard. As when you were trying to tell us that you were Zen. <laughs> like the amount of effort it took for you last night to tell us how freaking Zen you are. Bro, the thing is, I have to communicate something like that really clearly. Yeah. And a lot of like passion and energy, I feel like, communicates the message. And Sometimes 40, the vibrations. Also, 48 hours of you being awake. That Like on and off. It played a role. That more played a role when we were in the car winding up a long ass Mountain crammed against the door. He remembered fondly. Just tweaking. I'm better now. I'm I'm zen. <laughs> zen totally zen. Are you gonna give this another go? Germany. That's it. I think right, I've, I think right, it's run right. its course. Um, and this beer is about to as well. Might be. I'm gonna say you might as well get rid of it just now. Are there cornfields in Germany? Do we know? I had, didn't see one. When Mike, I was where's there. your laptop? You're gonna look this stuff up. Of course, there are cornfields in Germany. Are there cornfields in Germany? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> in, 
they make beer, so I would hope so. I feel such. I'm really at a loss without my laptop. Yeah, but there's not really corn in German beer. Okay, Most of well, I don't know anything, but I Is hope they true? have corn. Well, actually, <laughs> according to the Reinheitsgebot, German purity laws from the, I want to say 1600s. I said my first thing was corn. I said corn, and there's no corn in German beer. Mm. I'm this. I'm being selfish now. Zen, dude. Dude, so zen. So zen. <laughs> well, Zach, you had a really good idea for a conversation for us to have right before we started recording. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking about like how being in this place with, with all of you guys is influential and just wanted to like hear some of the other places that you guys had been that were influential on you. Don't necessarily have to be places you were only one time or with certain people. It doesn't have to be like a big, huge vacation that changed your life or anything. Just a place that you can remember from your past that you, uh, that had an impact on your life. Now, Trent. What's up? I'm going to say something from a previous podcast, and I need you to... Okay. If you're not listening, just hang in there. Okay. A few episodes ago, I talked about family traditions. Um, we would always go to Door County every New Year's and just hang out with my parents, college friends, and their children. So, I'd, I mean, I'd hang out with the children. And... I haven't gone for like the past few years and it's not a dwindling tradition. They still try to go, but like with everything that's happened in sort of my family and my circle recently, it's kind of on the downward spiral as, you know, many traditions, you know, they come and go. This has given me not deja vu, but like it's got the same feeling as those types of trips. Um, and one thing, I, I don't know if you said this just randomly, but somebody just threw out there. So um, this again next year, huh? This again next year? And I was like, yeah, I could do that. I can make room in my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of influence, I mean, like that was huge growing up, um, you know, just around seeing my parents with other adults having fun. And like my dad would always break out the guitar and they'd sing until New Year's Eve or until New Year's Day, I guess. And that was just, that's a really good set of memories. And it's the type of thing that I want to bring to my family. Mm -hmm. And we got to bring Colin next time with little Walt. Oh, oh. oh man. I love that. And yeah, significant others. and Yes. This was a good a pirate. Bigger Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A scouting Airbnb. trip. A scouting trip. That's what this was. Concept <laughs> testing. Yes, yes. <laughs> and is it working? How, can we get a consensus? Is the this working? The air isn't poisoned here, so we can bring other people. But we it's know a lot now. thinner. There's less air. <laughs> yeah, right. It felt like poison at first. <laughs> uh, man, I really like being the only one holding my microphone because whenever I bring it up, everybody gets quiet. Every, the only one holding their microphone who matters. Um, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Wow. Put mine down, I guess. Um, no, but I was just going to compliment you, actually, before you, I messed it up. Um <laughs> Before I was <laughs> so I mean. Before I, I just really totally slam a jam. You, <laughs> First uh, you gotta knock him down to build him back up. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Close line. <laughs> um, yeah, no, being out here has made me realize, like, I'm very, very close with you guys. And um, talking about influential places, but mostly people, like, this is another example. You and I are so much on the same page that like, that was my idea for the second follow-up question is like, how influential do you think this is going to be for us? And we are already there. Cause I think we're all on the same page about it. So. Where's next year. Next Where's year. The reunion tour. Here's the thing. I think we could do Colorado. We could do anywhere. Like I, I feel mountains like mountains are nice. Mountains yeah. are great. Mountains are nice. there, there are mountains in Tennessee no, no to mountains. No, 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 more mountains. Mountains. <laughs> no, no more mountains. No. Something by the ocean. I was the one consistently, yeah, low sea elevation. Level. Yeah. Flat. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty consistently bringing up the rear today <laughs> during the hiking portion of things. <laughs> well, there was a significant sliding portion of the, on the mm. way down. I think you mean send it. The send it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> oh, man. That was a pretty dang good hike today, though. That was good, and it was that was an, uh, considered an easy one. And, yeah, it was um, on the it was on the intermediate scale on the All Trails app, sponsored by All Trails. Oh, <laughs> so, 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 yeah. This listen, is, this listen is new information. Yeah, let me let me share the good word with you. Yeah, please. Um, 
we were looking up a number of trails to go on quick today, and this one that we stumbled upon was two hours so, away. We did so not go to that one, but right? Pun intended. <laughs> the second one we looked at is a two minute walk from our place. There were a few more where it was like two hours away, forty five minutes away, and like when it came down to it. We spent all day yesterday pretty much either in a car or rallying to get groceries and just get somewhere. It was so nice just to wake up with a pot of coffee, chill and relax so easy, big breakfast, totally cure ourselves from some debauchery last night <laughs> and like go, on, go outside and sweat and get burnt and I don't know. It's been a good ass day. And that was a good hike. I feel like it was enough to like wet our whistles for yeah. maybe something else tomorrow, but either way. It was nice. Yeah. Nothing to leave us too cranky. Right. Speaking of which, I need a beer. <laughs> <laughs> beer fridge. No, I'm just We're just about there. Do you need another beer? We could take a quick break here. Oh, yep. <laughs> it seems like you've got a beer. Brother's chugging, though. <clears throat> Let's go. Come on. No? All right. My first beer was 7.5%. Okay. And the excuse you're making is... Yeah, we're in Colorado right now, <laughs> starting traditions. <laughs> I want to remember them. <laughs> Fair enough. Still, beer fridge. Cool. Now. You're not starting. Right? Welcome to the corner. <laughs> this is Mike's Cocktail Corner. This is my accent for Mike's Cocktail Corner. I hope you enjoy a little bit of cocktail knowledge and strengths for you. What I did was I put four ounces of Buffalo Trace into that there Corico tin shaker. Yeah. I'm gonna put in a little bit of this blackberry lemon mint nonsense and we're gonna make this nice and tasty. How you boys doing today? Welcome to Colorado. Hope you're feeling good, hope you're feeling fresh and fine. Yes, I'm feeling quite nice, Michael. Thank you for inviting me here Thank tonight. you for being here, Paul McCartney, in the flesh. It is good to be here. Thank you, Vladimir Putin, also for being here. Well, I don't really know quite what my accent's going to be. But Russell Crowe, maybe... my best friend. <laughs> Russell Crowe. Wow, Russell Crowe, a real gad for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, about I was a little thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> about how many ounces of bourbon was that? <laughs> this is all very if scientific. I if I wasn't wearing a sweater, you'd see my big bicep. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important, Mike. I think you got to show everybody your big biceps. I, You're teasing us. I cannot. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. To making an impact. And lifelong traditions. And Mike's birthday and Matt's bachelor party. Yes. Cheers. 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 That was Oh, I really liked it. That was good. I can get behind that. That was real good. Yeah, nice. that was taste uh Did you put the rest in here? Sure did, yeah. <laughs> Mixed it with my margarita. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves bourbon and tequila need, together. <laughs> might need another one of these. <laughs> Something to cleanse my palate. Oh, Mike, while we were at the fridge, mm -hmm. or while, we, while you were demonstrating, oh I was at God, the fridge. Christ. While we got, got while you a little we present in the corner. to remind you of your, uh, your one-time place. Thank you, Griff. The cornfields oh, wow. of Germany. For those of you listening at home, <laughs> yeah, got corn. go watch the video. <laughs> The cornfields of Germany. Okay. And the waves of corn. <laughs> that corn's bad. Shuck it. <laughs> Shuck it, eat it raw, <laughs> like we got it for you. Goodness. Very sweet of you. Gracious. <laughs> I'll give you $10. <laughs> If I shuck this corn right now <laughs> and eat okay. it raw. <laughs> and take a bite of it. That's ten bucks. What? Wait, no, take a bite of it now. <laughs> That's ten bucks. Uh, Matt, 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 <laughs> Matt what's it in five dollars if you take a, a bite of it? Well, Husk and all. Well, how's your guys' <laughs> afternoon? <laughs> Here I go shucking this corn. What'd you guys do in Colorado? Well, <laughs> um, should I have? Can I give a serious answer while Mike uh, does this? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I'll take you seriously. Oh, I know. That's kind of the humor of it. Our CGI budget is way down this season, so we yeah. got real corn. <laughs> what would be CGI? 
the corn. Why? See, did you ever see in movies it only ever takes like three peels to shock up the CGI corn? dragons? It's, because it's just, cheaper. They, they just forgot to get them. <laughs> it's cheaper than real dragons. Like season super. <laughs> forgot our dragons again. Okay. Oh. This is becoming more. Yeah, far that's why I said that's I could give an answer. <laughs> yeah, this joke sucks. I think I leave this where it is. I think it becomes a mask. Yeah, for the rest. <gasps> we'll yes, right yeah, in the middle, I right there. That. It's like a pineapple. Wow. Like, except it's corn. It's a cornucopia. I, wow. <laughs> We're almost all from from corn corn states. Uh huh. Oh no, it should be there. One of us previously was in the band corn. That- you have to decide who it is. Mm. Text us all... now at 888. Oh my goodness, Chris. Wow. Chris, um, I'm going to ask Trent if he can tell his story now. Trent? <laughs> What's up? What's your serious answer that you wanted to give while Mike was shucking that cord? <laughs> um, well, if we're talking about impactful trips, I mean, this one is certainly going to go down in the books. Um, but I would say previously when... Uh, I came out to Nashville for that Japanese house concert. Um, first time seeing them. It was an incredible time, but I don't know. I feel like I also just figured out a lot of things in my life that trip. And it was just kind of a big catalyst for a lot of different things that ended up changing and are still changing. But um, I don't know. Just being with you guys helps make me feel a little bit more loved and confident and so it just is a nice uh sort of place to yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> center in sorry i was gonna do this while mike was shucking corn and i thought that was gonna be so funny <laughs> for me um, as like it's like a, a visual guy but i'm just checking in from still in there this is the softest is this a women's it's, shirt? It's, well, I mean... They only make soft clothes for women. Can we talk about how unfair it something? is to be a man? I don't think this is a good... <laughs> this is a, <laughs> not, this is a good time. This is a good time. We went, we went to REI yesterday. Yeah. Put Trent the corn found back. a great find from the women's side of the mm-hmm. clearance rack. Yeah. And I swear, every time that I like see the women's section, I much prefer their like vests, mm-hmm. which I so desperately want. But I haven't found a good one in... The men's section, because they're all like either Hunter Orange, which is fine and it has its purpose, but I want myself a nice, clean, oh my god, purple, purple, bright green, shuck of corn. <laughs> what? That's it. That's my vest. Yeah. A corn vest. That's what I done. Chris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about an influential trip that you've been on. Ah. Uh, Trying to think of a good one. I have been to Italy. That was really cool. Um, influential, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard that. sneaky. <laughs> um, if only there was no recording devices in your proximity. <laughs> <laughs> this is between us. What? <laughs> <laughs> Trent, can I, yeah. Trent, can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Hey, what's going on? Hey guys. Here, guys. Yeah. I want to talk. I want to talk to you where they can't hear me. <laughs> can I wait? Can I quit? Yeah. Can you wait. get it? Can we get in here? That's gonna be bad to edit. <laughs> Chris, Chris is just like, I made you guys sound good, and Michael in the mirror. Yeah, but you can do anything. <laughs> you can do anything for this True. one. Yeah. Um, influential places. I mean. An obvious one I feel like would have to be Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> that sticks far too well. <laughs> um, come on. Can I say <laughs> that I had a vision in the flames? <laughs> as you were as you picked that up, I said in my head <laughs> He's gonna do that thing. This guy's, gonna, there's one way this, uh, this guy's gonna do it. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, and this might be why we don't do video. <laughs> didn't disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Uh. Nashville for sure. Nashville. Um, I don't know. It's not. It, I can't really think of like. <laughs> I can't really think of why or how it was influential, but I really just love to think back to trips to New Hampshire and. Uh, Canoeing on the Saco River. How does it influence you? As hell. 
How did it influence you? Well, that's what I was saying. I'm not super sure. I just know I loved it a lot. And it was just nice to be in touch with nature. And Mm -hmm. it kind of was a similar feeling to today when we were hiking. Just like, I don't know, just a lot of things bigger than ourselves. Right. I felt a lot of anger while I was hiking (laughs) today. Why? At myself. (laughs) At the air. (laughs) At how tired I was. (laughs) At how much beer I drink all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Breathing. Breathing sucks up here. We're but in like a really nice way, right? Yeah, it's crisp. Like the air is so good here. Mm-hmm. Just so there's so just so little of it. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> you know? Yeah, we gotta share it. It's the best air. There's just not a lot of it. That's right. what I said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I got there after you said it. That's fine. So. It's something good, Thanks. but there's not a lot of it, <laughs> and it's the air here. Chris, I hear you on that little connection that you have between the like mundane idea of just like being somewhere in nature and then like coming back and being like oh my god i'm realizing that like i've done this before and i have these old memories of like being distant yeah and being somewhere new and being somewhere desolate that's like exciting i love that <coughs> matt makes a good point too yeah that's nature right there that is yeah <laughs> it's as natural as it gets <laughs> it's a deep thought mm-hmm and when you can just be like overwhelmed and just like let your eyes just like just glance over everything that you can look at and you just can't stop looking at it and enjoying it. Like that's just a nice a nice way to spend a good half an hour or a lot longer. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. It was 100 percent the quietest I've ever heard our group of friends. Like I think <laughs> all of us were just like taking it in, you know, like Trent said, there was so much that it was overwhelming. Like we just didn't talk because we were all yeah doing our own thing breathing <laughs> we were all breathing as breathing. part of it no, That's what we were kinda, i was eating I a lot talk. of string cheese yeah there was string <laughs> cheese to be eaten and breathing to be done i was also just amazed at like being mm. 50 some odd feet away from mike and being able to talk conversationally that was and weird. hearing it perfectly that was weird yeah it's like being on a lake i don't yeah. i don't know how that works right you now it's interesting the bowl that we were in, like, all kind of came down from this one big side of this big mountain face onto the corner up around our campsite. That's kind of how this is all shaped. So we were up in this little area that, like, I would just talk at Chris, who was 60 feet away, like this. Chris, show me your T-shirt. And <laughs> he would say, yes, Mike. <laughs> Mike, and I, I hear but, you. Right. This is my T-shirt. <laughs> and you could hear the foley of him <laughs> taking his shirt up and showing me. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, it was it's very interesting. You were also, so you were sitting on a, not a cliff, but like a little overhang. And I was like a good 20 feet behind you taking pictures. And I heard you say, <laughs> can, can you hear me? <laughs> and I was like, God. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce, is what? this my moment? <laughs> Why? Are you back? Why do you sound so much like Mike? <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just. I'm just like, oh, anybody else? Anybody else? Liter- <laughs> literally. So. Hey, welcome to the burn, Matt. <laughs> Was that burn me or burn him? It because like. Me. But I need to cool myself down. <laughs> 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 baby. Oh. Uh, Mike, have you talked about an influential trip? No. No. Mike? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Germany. <laughs> um, I would say the Maymester after junior year was probably the most pivotal time in my life where I was like figuring things out and like finally coming into this realm of adulthood that I was understanding things. Um, so I think that gave me a sense of like being an individual and like being with new people that I didn't really know and how to like interact with for a few weeks. And I mean, that was a good um, kind of introduction to what my next couple of years would be. Cause I mean, that was, I'm getting Snapchat updates that that was three years ago now. Um, so since then, I think little um, either trips that it's been or instances that have happened that have kind of like shaped how I want to be myself has been the most influential. So that 
time in particular was a big building block onto like the foundation of my house of Mike. Wow. I'm getting those notifications too for my May Mester mm-hmm. uh, up in, uh, up in, the, I did a Central Europe trip. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. I think the most influential trip for me though was my high school trip to Nashville. Because that, good point. I mean, because that set me right. on the path to right. be in Nashville and to meet you and then to meet you and to meet you. Knew me. You were there. <laughs> you got so there eventually. You showed up later. You were, yeah, you showed up a little late. <laughs> that was That's fine. But like, yeah, Mike, I can't believe you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And to, oh, little garnish. So, gross. <laughs> But in, term, wig. in terms of influence, like that had huge ripples in my, in this version of me in this universe, in the within the larger multiverse. Should we talk about that? No, no, no. Let's not talk about that. We're talking but, Avengers here. But you know that was that was a giant um, sort of turning point for mm-hmm. me is is getting to Nashville, and we would not be here. Listen, guys. You're you're welcome. <laughs> this is wow. My we, time. We wouldn't be here if it if it wasn't for that trip, you know, yeah. and visiting Belmont and me being like, yeah, wait a minute, yeah, yeah, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you would have probably stayed in Eau Claire, but <laughs> <laughs> Eau Claire, Eau Claire is where you went to college for the first year, right? Yep, freshman year, Eau Claire. <laughs> yeah. Nobody oh. can correct me because Mike refuses to. Lacrosse. Ah, got him. <laughs> I was about to say Lacroix, and I was like, "That's not La- yeah, Lacroix, Wisconsin." It La- just kind of tastes like Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right on the edge of Wisconsin. What would the Wisconsin Lacroix flavor taste like? Like sausage and beer and brats and half a wheel of cheese. Cheese curds. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of natural gas there, which is how it gets its name. Paper you know? mill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It would smell like Wisconsin Rapids. I'm coming after you, Wisconsin Rapids. Oh God, Rapids. no! To all of our listeners in Wisconsin Rapids, yes, we, we my shorts. No, we love you. We That's appreciate. Right, Matt. Message received. We love Cut off Rapids. your nose. I'm coming after you. I don't. Um, don't do that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, does anyone know if there have been any beers infused with cheese curds? What are you saying? There have been. Beer wait, 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 there, wait. Should we? Or should like I, a beer cheese should beer? We, wait, wait. Should we take this off cast? Maybe. There have been TM TM TM. Wait, we can trademark this, right? Well, like because we recorded it, it's trademarked. What I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is like beer battered cheese curd, beer battered fish. What about but the beer is cheese battered beer? That's what you're not getting. That's what we're trying to say. Beer battered fish right into into that vat with the hops and all the. Did you say cheese battered fish? And now you're talking about putting it all into beer. (laughs) You do a beer luge (laughs) through a block of Swiss. We're talking to the right there, heights, there, are, there are too many holes in your plot. We're right? talking about <laughs> listen, you have a lot of people, a lot of mouths to feed. <laughs> listen, in our in our beer, we're gonna start a brewery, right? That's kind of the end goal of this podcast. So it's gonna have hops. Duh. Gotta have hops. <laughs> it's right. gonna have cheese curds, of course. Right. But Chris brought up a great thing. Fish. No. Oh. Fish in our beer. Fish, cheese, hops. They can I mean, clean the tanks. We can get easily. Those ones that suck the algae off. And then they'll just kind of get. How do you feel? <laughs> how, how are you feeling about this? They'll just get kind of mixed Zach in. Zach is deeply uncomfortable. Welcome to our yeah, Zach's pond. holding in how we wrong we are ale. about the beer creating process. <laughs> this is our Maybe flagship. Maybe that's the name of the brewery, Koi Pond. Welcome Koi to Pond. Quality 64, Koi. the episode where Zach loses his job. <laughs> <laughs> This is a natural sour because there's a number of northern pike in here. <laughs> there's a lot of fish, sure. We fed, we fed these walleye fruit gushers for 18 weeks. And that's that's how you our, get that's that's our wild how. berry. <laughs> it's our wild berry walleye sour. That's no, how. No, 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 that's the only. That's the only way to get it sour, you know. Though it's absolutely delicious. That's the only of way. Light in my nose. <laughs> Don't worry, Peta approved of our treatment of the fish. Peta approved. We want to drink this one through a cheesecloth. I'm gonna warn you. <laughs> Don't try it, please. It's chunky. <laughs> it's our chunkier brew, sure. Don't get me wrong. It's our chunk light beer. <laughs> But hey, those fish turds will get you drunk, so you're in here first. <laughs> those little suckers. They know how to those do Those bastards, tip. am I right? What do we uh, call this beer? Uh, 
I think just How about chunk hot light. flaming garbage? There hot flaming go. garbage is something. Even better. That doesn't include any of the cheese, the curds, or the fish, or the hops. Walleye, the sailor man. Chunk light sour. Chunk light sour is good. <laughs> chunk light sour is good. Walleye, the <laughs> sour man. Thank you. Mm-hmm. But then I think we'll need tuna instead of pike. Mm. <laughs> What's the what's the state fish of Massachusetts? We got to bring Chris in, you know, in his. If you do, hey, if you don't know, what's, you can't go back. <laughs> what's the state fish of Italy? We're going all the way back in his lineage here. Come on, Chris. I don't know. Bottom states. <laughs> true question. There, are, there are not states. There are not fish in Italy. That's true. You make a good point. <laughs> there can't be any fish in Italy. No, impossible. There's only Barbigian, Reggiano. Boy, that was racist, huh? It was. <laughs> I did but it was the Italians, so who cares? Right, Chris? <laughs> Just kidding. Your grandpa is one of the coolest guys I know. He is Same. very <laughs> Italian. Yeah. 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 I love garden Italian. No, he's real Italiano. My like Mambo is. Italiano. Eh, mambo. <laughs> he's like, he's well, like, I didn't, I didn't think it would be any worse than what I said, <laughs> but I'm glad that you rounded the bases. Bring it on home. Thank you. Matt. You're welcome. Take the mambo number five Italian. <laughs> yeah, man. It was worse. It was worse. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what the state fish is of Massachusetts, but there is a lot of like tuna fishing, at least out of there. And then there's, um, at least I think so. I don't know. Whatever. Mike can fact check me later. Fact right. check me later. Fact check uh, me. I'll, <laughs> there's also Give a lot me a tickle, of lobstermen. Okay, so maybe lobster is sweet. Sweet and sour is good. So lobster instead of the fish. Okay, you're going to look this. You're yeah. making sure there's not a lobster. We're going to have and a cheese mean, curds. In the meantime, we really got to move on. Beer. A lobster bisque beer. I don't know how I feel about that, Chris. <laughs> think so. it. I'll tell you. Atlantic, Atlantic. Atlantic Cod. Massachusetts. Okay, that would make sense. That would make a lot of sense since Cape Cod. Duh. Well, we'll we'll keep brainstorming (laughs) that. We'll keep brainstorming that. Zach, have you talked about your influential place yet? Wisconsin State Fish. I honestly can't remember. There's no way Wisconsin has a. (laughs) Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. There's a state fish. Muscalunge, of course. Oh, stupid dump. Oh yeah, you know those little baby sharks there. Nah, you're thinking of the sturgeon. No, the sturgeon is sturgeon. Sturgeon are scary fish. <laughs> yeah. They're huge. Don't look I, at me like I, they're not I'm scary, sure Zach. Iowa might be the bluegill. I think I've never I been afraid bluegill. of a sturgeon. Have you seen a sturgeon? No. They're the size of Because they live you. in the ocean. No. Sturgeon are freshwater fish. <laughs> well, they live in the water. Guys, the <laughs> Iowa State fish is really sad. Oh, oh no. no. It's the channel catfish. Oh. So like your, your ditch <laughs> catfish. Oh. You'll find that after a big flood, after a cold winter, lots of snow, everything's flooded, and catfish are swarming in to eat all your corn. Right in the corn wow. field. That's where they met Mike. <laughs> Should we get corn in on this beer? Okay, let's move. Let's 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 move on before we get. We got to trademark this. We got it. Yeah. We can't be selling our secrets yet, Zach. I definitely already went. I talked about South Carolina. You did? In my mind. Or was that oh, your yeah. beer? Oh, that was There's your beer. Idea. There's that's your beer. Oh. Influential place. Whoops. My influential place was my grandparents' house. Um, they lived on Lake Panorama. I think Trenton, you went there a few times, right? Yeah, I've been out there. I asked you a question so I could burp, and then I oh. couldn't burp in time. I uh, I saw some very – I had a cookout with your family there. There were some chihuahuas that I played with. Uh, it was a good time. I feel like your brother <laughs> kept throwing water balloons at me. He's done burping. That was wonderful, though, because I had a second one that I didn't know about. <laughs> so Here for you, baby. Um, Where is this lake? Western Iowa. Thank you. Yeah. It's like an hour west of Des Moines. We, okay. we were 20 minutes away from it. Oh, we were. Just yeah. missed it. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll hit it on the way back. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, but it was the first time or place that I can remember going to where I genuinely like really appreciated nature and like being outside and taking things slower, enjoying the small things, you know, watching sunsets on lakes, watching, um, you know, my grandpa drive around in a golf cart and know all of his neighbors and be like at any given point, he would turn into a driveway. We'd go and he, I'd have a 
soda while they had beer. Or we'd go turn towards the lake and... <laughs> I uh, would listen. I was like 12. Um, so I only they had do. one. <laughs> it was just a sip. Um, or, you know, it'd just be like, hey, I think this person might be around. Let's go on a boat ride. And, and just being like the value of being kind, the value of taking your time, and the value of like being outside. Um, so it was one of the most influential places in my life yeah. because those are so really important things to me. I love that. Yeah. That's very sweet. Thanks. Yeah. So I think I feel like even I got a taste of that when I was out there. So I can understand how that would be a big uh, cornerstone. Mm -hmm. I think small places like that too have just that like that big of an impact. That oddly reminds me of like when I was probably way way back my first proper like camping trip when I would actually like stay in a tent. It was not with my family. My family was not much involved in that. It was like with some close family friends that I wanted to try something new. And they were like, yeah, go for it. We could use a weekend without you. <laughs> wow. It was very it was very nice, but it was Clear Lake, Wisconsin, like stars brighter than I've ever seen. And like I remember specifically like the older generation really drawing about like bullshit. It was just like them thinking back on, oh, I would drive up here as a kid when I was 12 years old and gas was like 33 cents and just random stuff like that that would be like, this place has a history for them. There is like a lineage that comes back here probably annually, which is like a tradition thing that, I mean, we're going to continue to talk about because I think it's important to us. But like something like that where I remember as a child being like, I can look up to that and say that a consistency and like friendship is important to them. Maybe that will be important to me. It just feels cool. I like that. You know, it's crazy. Hmm. If this does become a thing and we don't all fall out in like a fiery friendship death. Boy. Like I don't have health insurance. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> but like <laughs> why is that relevant? A fiery death would be bad for me. A fiery friendship death. Well, I feel like in a fiery friendship death, it doesn't matter. If it happens, happens here, here I think it's the Airbnb's insurance, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, last easily. Night nearly. <laughs> well, oh, that's right. Real quick. You want to hit him up with that? Yeah, we had a fire drill last night at, like, <laughs> peak Colorado time, according to all of us. And we were like, okay, let's trudge outside in our bare essentials and just wait and watch a couple dogs fight and just chill by strangers <laughs> until we can go back inside in the comfort of our sweet I'm, home. I made a little money on that dog fight. Yeah? No. Uh, no. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Okay, that's good. I otherwise, didn't do that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to I would to never do that. He didn't do it, folks. Finn. You heard it here. Finn, if you're listening, I didn't do that. I did do that, though. I made a little money. He can. He did has better hear? hearing than me. Don't tell Trent. Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm being manhandled. <laughs> How much money did you make? I made like 500 bucks. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. No, I didn't make any money though. Right, right, right. <laughs> if the IRS is oh, listening, I made eight grand on that dog fight. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. Well, now we don't know. Anyway, so if we all burn up in a fiery friendship death, it's but I mean, no, if we don't, people. sure. If we don't burn up in a fiery friendship death, we have this as the inaugural night, filmed and recorded. Just to watch, just to make our kids watch it. I was just, I'm just thinking about like. <laughs> Our kids are probably going to watch this video. Oh, so by fiery friendship death, you meant like the environment goes to crap. There's a nuclear war. Everything bad happening in the world really gets to us. And we don't make it 50 years from now. I was thinking <laughs> more like betrayal, drama. Like, <laughs> yeah, so like, so yeah. like if somebody just stabs Trent. <laughs> yeah, if you and I start stabbing Trent, Chris right. starts stabbing me, so uh, long, Mike starts... Bork. Oh, that's, wow. my, that's, that's, my, that's my trident. <laughs> <laughs> if you could. <laughs> Mike is Aquaman. Oh. 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 Okay. See, this is why I'm going to be the last one surviving in our fiery friendship death. All the fire above water. Me, I'm gonna start a tontine. Safe underground. <laughs> Underwater, right, 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 right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't wait. You know, listen to that and figure out that you said all the fire above ground, <laughs> and mm -hmm. I'm underwater, underground. <laughs> yeah, sure, in a cave, easily. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you. Sir. <laughs> I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
It's been real though. I think Aquaman would be the worst bartender name. You would have no customers. <laughs> yeah, I'm drowning in my sorrows behind here. <laughs> All I can pour you is water. <laughs> That's Agua Man. Do you need some hydration? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe in Spain. Got <laughs> me. Thank you. <laughs> but it's crazy. Our our kids are gonna watch this I and see not. us. I don't know. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna show they this might video. Respect me less. I'm gonna, sh- I'm gonna show this video to Chris's kids. <laughs> My kids gonna watch this. I'm gonna air this at Chris's wedding. <laughs> I'm gonna just put it up on telephone. Easily. This is the couple's crazy. first dance. Will be to <laughs> poor quality. The episode where they sit around a table and yeah, show off all their shuck no, some okay. corn. <laughs> no, shuck corn. That was that's a big moment. Oh wait, we should more. probably finish that. The way I don't mm-hmm. know. We should. Should, we finish, should we finish that while we finish our beers? The way that we True. should finish this right, show. You guys finish your beers. I'm yeah. going to finish shucking this corn. Is with a message to our future families. That's amazing. Finish your beer and we'll do that. That'll be our nicknames. <laughs> We're going to talk to our future families? With our nicknames, yes. So think about it while you chug your beer. That's The gravity of the situation is undying. Kids, this is what I don't want you to pay attention to. Yeah, Miller Lite. You kidding me? Of course. Here you go, Mike. You, 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 <laughs> get out of here. Course. You, you can finish me? that bet now. If you really want. You know what to do. You're going to win 10 bucks. For, well, is it going to be five and five? Because Chris technically shucked it. It's true. You missed sure, it. That's I, a Chris I, shucked I, I get some uh, percentages out of this. <laughs> I don't. Hey. What? I don't want you to do this. Why? It's corn. But it, it's not going to be good for you. It'll be fine for me. Well, <laughs> physically, health-wise, but taste-wise, experience-wise. I don't think I've ever eaten raw. I don't corn. want you to eat that because of me. <laughs> this if you a... want to eat that because of you, then I want you to chase that What's place. that Tabasco at? This is a <laughs> new experience. Um, Wasn't it on the just table? Just put some whiskey on it. <laughs> what is on here? Do you want some bitters? I don't know. No. Simple syrup? Lemon juice? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good sound. Can you take one more bite? <laughs> you didn't have to. You I really didn't have to. How does it taste? Sounds like. Hey, how is it, guys? Not bad. It's pretty damn good. Okay. Really? I try to pick I some good. It's like juicy. It's like juicy corn. I hate huh. good corn. Really? Yeah, that's good corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Goodness. Oh, he loves it. Why do we buy corn? Why do we I do corn? I'm I'm not, boy. I love corn. I'm so happy. I do love corn. I'm Why do happy you say? Trent grabbed it. <laughs> that is the best corn this, I've ever had. This communal corn that's going on. Not bad. That is pretty good. Isn't it? <laughs> I like that way more than cooked corn. Are we supposed to... Wait, how deadly is uncooked corn? Can we look that up well, after folks, the episode? Well, folks, it looks like... <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so good? Isn't it? That's what I'm saying, Jay. Why do we even cook it? <laughs> if we cooked it, because it's um, why did you die? <laughs> Jordan, baby. Huh. All yeah, right. Not bad, right? Okay. Um, Learn something new every day. Mike, who have you been, and uh, what do you want to say to your uh, future family members, your kids and grandkids, as they will, of that course. watching me eat raw corn <laughs> and, and drink, and drink Kerr's Light. First of all, kids, drink Kerr's. I mean, Miller. Miller, come on, Mike. Wow, you wow. just... You heard it here first. Yeah, well, this doesn't count because I haven't finished this. Wouldn't you say... That's spot- what they call a Freudian slip. What about Spotted Cow? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, true. All right, drink Point Special Lager until you die. Unless the poops are still as bad as they are because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put anybody in that house. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> this is what Mike wants you to know. <laughs> Wadena. Wait. Zach? <laughs> Zach, you're up. Um, I've been. I've been Zach. Whatever the funniest thing that happened. No, you're saying something to your kids now. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, the funniest thing that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing that happened I love was you your takeaway. <laughs> um... Yeah, kids, if you're listening, know that I've loved you since before you even existed, and wow, don't do what we do. <laughs> unless, unless, unless you're with you're... people that you truly love and appreciate, and that spending time around really makes you happy, mm-hmm. then keep those people close. Just don't 
let Mike make cocktails for you. Schroeder. <laughs> Trent? And I have been Trent. Uh, I'm not so sure about having kids at this point in my life. But if I have anything to say to all of you kids of my friends here, uh, you can always come to me for the best advice. And I will never lead you astray. Okay. And uh, you can count on your Uncle Trent to uh, be totally cool. Hold on. Pass me me uh, (laughs) Totally chill and cool to invite to parties. Okay. So if I could break in really fast, <laughs> yeah. Stafford, this <laughs> he's done. <laughs> he's done. He did it. Uh, it's done. Chris, <laughs> what about you? I can go first. If you yeah, want. yeah. All yeah. right, kids. To steal from Zach, I love you. Uh, Damn it! I forgot to say I love you. <laughs> <laughs> he also stole that from you, Zach. So that's gone. What? I'll just eat you. my He corn. stole. Oh. Um, yeah, I guess I don't no, mean I want, to, I, want, I want both our children to feel loved. It's too late. You've, you've stolen the love. You're only bro. one. No. Um, this will make you feel better, bro. <laughs> yes. Is that salt around anywhere? Or no? I guess. Don't need it, bro. <laughs> Juicy sweet. I guess I, I would just say good. to my good. children. You've been Chris. I've been Chris. <laughs> No, what I would like to say is that even if you're just not feeling like going out and doing anything, go out and do it because it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, I would like to be Chris Chunk Light Beer O'Brien. TM, 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 That's a good name. I've been Matt. Kids. Listen. Listen to your Uncle Trent. (laughs) Hell yeah. Are you kidding me? (laughs) Listen to what he says. And do the opposite. Okay, hold up. That is the advice. (laughs) No, 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 no. Buyers. Well, folks, it looks like we're bottoms up. We'd like to thank Waker for giving us time to crack open our cold ones and this corn. (laughs) Um, with their song Gemini from the album This Is Waker. This particular show has been poor quality. It's been hella fun. It has been. It's been a good time. (laughs) But it's been poor quality. But what else would you expect Uh, from this type of production? I expect a colder... I guess we took these out like an hour ago. They're Mm. not going to be as cold. Yeah, you're right, Mike. We did that. Kids, listen, I shucked it up so you don't have to. So just trust me, I got you. Also, PSA, raw corn. Best corn. Best corn. Yeah, raw corn. corn, best corn. Raw Would eat that corn. again. Heard it here Can first. I redo my nickname? <laughs> raw corn, best. <laughs> <laughs> just write that down for later, just in case. I love that. It's been great, folks. See ya. Thanks for joining us. And you're recording, please. End it. End it. End it. End it.